That's right, Rob. The school still owes Coach Carter $250,000. But again, Ruben Carter not getting the full five years of his contract after steadily improving the academic state of the program. But as we know, this comes down to wins and losses. I think Preston Parker, outstanding day. I mean, what I th a game I think for he him. should change his name to Peter Parker, like Spider-Man, because he makes <laughs> incredible play after incredible play. Yeah, Just a really it was a fun play to day watch. For him. All right, Anticipation you. growing each day for Seminole football as we get closer to that September 3rd season kickoff with Clemson. Seminoles are dealing with an issue that every baseball team in the world loves to have. They've got offense to spare in their first two meetings with Savannah State. The Knowles have banged out 42 Big surprise runs. considering two successful seasons followed by a down one. Usually somebody gets the leeway in that third year. I'm now joined by former Rattler head coach Reuben Carter. Coach, were you surprised considering that you had success coming into to a program that was already in a little disarray and you had two solid years followed by a down year. Were you surprised that you weren't able to get that fourth year to try and get this program back to where it should well, be? the biggest surprise was the result from the 2007. Finally. Inside sources tell sports director Elton Gumbel that Florida A&M pulls off a much needed move as they steal Hampton's head football coach Joe Taylor to take over as the head man for the Rattlers. Taylor is the winningest coach in the history of Hampton. One home game left and that's a very special game especially for one particular class and that's the class playing their last game at Doak Campbell Stadium. I'm talking to Coach K after the game he said about the final stretch, every play was a big play leading to a Duke win over Florida State and things not getting any easier for the Seminoles. Now they have to hit the road and take on Wake Forest in North Carolina. Former FAMU Athletic Director Nelson Townsend resigning after taking the job in 2006. Think, uh, Mike Martin had a few choice words for them before today's game and they certainly got the bats going. 13 runs on the Tigers. I guess they got